the spirit of perfectionism or constantly seeking to be perfect in all that you do, it will lead to constant condemnation and torment in your mind. Look, you're not called to be perfect. We're called to be perfect, meaning to be made well, to be restored in our heart, to be restored in our souls. Okay, so instead of seeking perfection, seek Jesus. Fall in love with Jesus. Keep on being discipled by Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Word of God. Develop that close relationship and that friendship with Jesus. Jesus says, just abide in me and you will bear fruit. Yes, I'm going to prune your branches. So you may feel like you're getting some chastening. You're getting some rebuke. Well, the word of God says in Hebrews that if you are without chastening and rebuke and correction of God, that you're an illegitimate son. So if you're being rebuked and corrected and chastened, well, praise God. God loves you so much. He wants to correct you. He wants to lead you down that narrow path so you can bear more fruit for his glory. Just don't get caught up in perfection. Okay, be like Mary. Sit at the feet of Jesus. Daniel chapter 6. Daniel had an excellent spirit is what it says. Daniel had an excellent spirit, not because he was seeking to be perfect, but because he feared the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. What is the fear of the Lord? The fear of the Lord is the hatred of evil. Okay? So if your heart condemns you, 1 John 3 says that God is greater than your heart, okay? And if your heart does not condemn you, then you have confidence before God. Either way, condemnation is not from the Lord and it stems from this desire to be perfect. Okay, if you play sports or you're at work, yes, we're always seeking to excel. We should do everything that we do with excellency to the best of our ability and we give the rest to God. Okay, yes, there's always more that we can do. We can always be more Christ-like, but you got to surrender. You got to let it go. Give it to the Lord. You're not perfect and you never will be perfect, but you're a child of of God. And this is the love that God poured out upon you. 1 John 3 verse 1. Right now you are a child of God. In verse 2, it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. For when he is revealed, we shall see him like he is. So right now you're a child of God. May the God of peace sanctify your whole spirit, soul, and body and preserve you blameless for his second coming. Know that he who begun a good work in you will complete it at the day of Jesus Christ. Don't get caught up in perfectionism. Instead, trust in the process. Trust that God is working in you. Trust that he's making you new. Trust that he's renewing your mind. Trust that he's healing your heart. Trust that he's helping you in your tasks at work. Trust that the Holy Spirit is with you, not based off of your emotions or how good you did on the test or at work, but trust in it because it's the word of God. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Jesus said, I will give you another helper, another me meaning one just like me. God works out all things for good to those who love him and to those who are called according to his purpose. Okay? I do believe that Jesus as a carpenter, I believe he hand out some pretty excellent things. So whatever you do, seek to do it with the utmost excellency. But if you mess up, you make a mistake, that's okay. We're human. We're not God. We mess up, 
or imperfect. So continue to let the Holy Spirit work in you. Whatever it is you need to surrender, surrender. Let it go. Have the joy of the Lord. Jesus said, I came so that way my joy may be in you. And that way your joy may be full. So let your joy be full. Rejoice always and worship God because that's what you were created to do. So God bless you, my friend. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.